Okay, fine. You want to talk Zoe and Kane? Let's talk friend shipping, which is a subset of shipping that has its own fun. And no, you don't need to tell me in the comments that some of the content about them is more than platonic. I'm well aware. I just made the decision that I didn't want to discuss it. Odd couple dynamics are popular for a good reason. Pairing the dark, angry anime edgelord up with the ultra sparkly ponies and unicorns Disney princess is a surefire way to generate comedy. And there's no one edgier, no one sparklier than Kane and Zoe. So a friendship dynamic between the two allows, for example, for Kane to reclaim some of his stolen childhood. The poor guy was a child soldier, after all, in Zoe's whimsical playfulness. Zoe, for her part, gets the fun that extroverts always seem to have, dragging introverts out of their shells, and the special joy of occasionally getting a smile out of old grumpy pants, as well as the always cathartic opportunity for hurt and comfort content, exploring traumas and gaining emotional relief from processing them. Given that Zoe is several orders of magnitude more powerful than Kane, it's also just fun to see Mr. Shadow Assassin entirely powerless to do anything about the lost sassy child, menacing his broody darkness with fun. They have a fairly basic but classic friend dynamic. I can see why people like it. Subscribe to this channel for more reactions and hot takes, or head on over to my main channel for longer in-depth videos.